Hey you guys, I want to start out by saying Shalom and I don't ever use that word but I felt the need to say it. I believe it's Hebrew for peace. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Um, I don't normally do a lot of videos at one time <laughs> but there's a lot of different things that I had on my mind and I didn't want to have a very long video and I don't edit so this is me. I wanted to talk to you guys about an analogy, which I think that we really need to consider. Um, imagine this, if you will. Just bear with me. I know that <laughs> I know that my channel is all about speaking in tongues and praying in the spirit and all that good stuff. But think of it this way. Let's just imagine that you are on a ship, awesome cruise ship. You've taken your family and your friends, your loved ones. You're having a great time. Um, some people are having better times than others. But you've learned now that there is some destruction, some um, damage on the ship, and it's going down. All right, There's some water coming in, and it is coming in quick. It's coming in through the bottom levels of the ship, so not everybody's aware of it. Music is still playing. Everybody's still dancing, hanging out, sitting by the pool, whatever it might be. And you're like, okay, look, <laughs> um, I need to get lifesavers to my friends and family, and i got to do it quick before people start to panic. So you start going to all your friends and family saying, hey, look, the ship's sinking, and you need to get this life jacket on. You need to do it quick because the ship's about to go down and I want you guys to be saved. Yeah. Okay, so some of your friends are like, no, no, it's good. I'm having a good time. I don't think so. There's no signs of it. Everything's fine. And other people are like, really? Oh my gosh. Well, give me a lifesaver. I want, I want one some for some of my friends too. Let's get them on. So people start putting them on, but then there's so many of them that are not putting on the life jackets. Your heart starts to hurt, you feel discouraged, and you start trying to tell everybody you can. You've reached out to your loved ones, your friends and family, now you're going beyond them. Now you're like, okay, I've got all these extra lifesavers, I need to get them on other people. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, you know that the rescue, the the rescue, um, what is it called out there in the water? The Coast Guard or whatever, the rescue, is coming to help people. They're going to help save people, but they are trying really hard to make sure that everybody's got their life jackets and stuff on before the sink goes the, the I'm sorry the ship sinks all right now how would you feel if your friends didn't put on that life jacket how would you feel if they start sinking and they go under and you got rescued okay <laughs> I'm an emotional person, you guys, because I love you in Christ, and this is how I feel. And this is how I think a lot of people should be looking at this world. This world is that ship. It is a sinking ship. It's going down. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, and if you accept Him as your Savior, come to you come to him as you are <laughs> you don't you don't have to be all dressed up you don't have to be um, free from addiction and bad thoughts and bad behavior and bad habits you need just to come to him as you are that's how he wants you he already paid the price he took it to the cross over 2000 years ago and he's saying look here's a free pass put on the life jacket please accept my life Accept me into your life. Call out to me. And you can have eternal life with me. He's re reaching out his hand to you. He's like, here you go. So that's the life jacket. is to get it saved. And so as Christians, we like to tell other people. And that's what, our, that's what the gospel is. is sharing people about Jesus Christ's love. And how we want you to get saved. You know, so that we know if you pass away. Whether it's in a car accident in 15 minutes. If it's from an illness, if it's some from something, anything that goes on in this cursed world, that you are saved and that we will have peace when you pass, that we will have everlasting life with you in heaven. Now, these are my thoughts here, you guys, so please don't beat me up over them. But <laughs> um, please accept the life jacket. Please accept his love, his salvation that he's offering you. We don't want you to go down with the ship, you guys. Your Abba, your Heavenly Father, you, you are His babies. He's the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords. You're His princes and princesses. And He wants 
you to put on that life jacket and get on that rescue boat. So please think about this and think about the people that you haven't told. Time is short. The end is here. We are living in the end times. Esther says for such a time as this. Revelation 12. Revelation is happening. You need to read your Bible and see that. The, the signs are in the moon, the stars, and in this cursed world. Okay, and I think I've said my piece. I think it, maybe, hopefully, you're getting what I'm saying, and I hope that analogy sits well with you, that you understand that we just, we're, people that are trying to talk to you about Jesus Christ, they're not trying to be mean to you. They're not trying to push their faith on you. They're not trying to do anything to make you uncomfortable. There's just a truth to it, and we feel it in our spirit. Just like, you know, like whenever the rains come in, and you can, it's like you smell it, and you can feel it in the air. There's a big thunderstorm rolling in. That's how I feel about the rapture. That's how I feel about the Lord coming back to pick up the church. It's near. It's near. I can sense it. I can feel it. And I want you saved. He wants you saved. He doesn't want to leave his babies here. <laughs> he wants you in heaven with him. So I'm just I'm gonna pray in this spirit and um, please forgive me if I get emotional because I tend to because I love you guys and um, so Heavenly Father I just want to thank you for those watching this video Lord God please help them to um, maybe see through my video completely see me in the raw right here and now that I'm trying to open their ears and their eyes and their hearts Lord and I've asked you just just before the video, I asked you, Father God, to fill my mouth with the correct words when I open my mouth. And I thank you, Father God, for binding the enemy and stopping the enemy from working through these videos. Lord, I thank you, Father, that you, Holy Spirit, that you work through these videos to touch eyes, ears, and hearts. Lord, that you minister to these individuals through me, and I thank you for that. Lord, I, I speak blessings over everyone right here and now in Jesus' name. Anyone with the sound of my voice, I thank you, Father God, that they are blessed abundantly, that they have wisdom, favor, love, mercy, grace, protection, direction, provision. I thank you, Father, that they come to know you if they don't already. I thank you, Father God, that they will open their hearts and their minds that they are saved and that they receive also the baptism of the Holy Spirit water baptism too if they're able to do that quickly alright Heavenly Father I just want to thank you right now and the Holy Spirit I just I'll give you the floor here Oh, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. I thank you, Father, for using this video to minister to those lost sheep and to those that are your sheep. And I thank you, Father, that we hear your voice. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. Love you guys. And shalom. <laughs> Peace to you and to all of you. I pray, Father. That, I mean, I pray, Father. Again, I'm I'm in my head right now. Um, please call out to Abba. Abba, Father, your daddy, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Yahweh, Yahweh. I don't know. There's all these names for him. And I pray I'm saying him correctly. Those are the things that I call him. And I want you to have an intimate relationship to, with him. It's not religion. I'm not professing religion. I'm not speaking crazy talk here. Saying that there is a God. There is a creator. There is a Messiah. His name is Jesus Christ. He died for you and he died for me at the cross over 2,000 years ago. Our timeline is based on him, you guys. He is real deal. He is history here. I thank, he, I thank him 
for dying on the cross for us, and I thank him for opening your eyes right now. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close out right now, and I'm going to do another video. <laughs> and the next one will be on speaking in tongues again. All right, God bless you guys. Take care.